Fox here, a crime tracker alert. Officers in three counties spent Monday afternoon chasing drug suspects down I-40. And as Andy Cordan reports for us, those suspects are accused of tossing out evidence that includes a weapon in all of this during a high speed chase. This all starts Monday morning in Dixon. The 23rd Judicial Drug Task Force attempts to pull a car over. They don't want to stop. Soon speeds are reaching up to 115 miles an hour, and it involves law officers in three counties. According to drug agents, after refusing to stop, the suspects take off reportedly tossing a gun and what's believed to be narcotics onto the interstate. Agents will find that weapon. This is their getaway car, now wrecked on the ramp, leading to I-40 in Fairview. It's here that the suspects almost drive into a narcotics officer. After the wreck, they take off running. 18-year-old Kelsey Cruz Vasquez is caught quickly. But 24-year-old Sandro Marquez Cortez will not be caught for hours. This is body cam as Williamson County deputies search, watch as he crosses I-40 to look in the median for the wanted man. Then when the 24-year-old may be spotted behind a Fairview truck stop, the deputy sprints back to his squad car, soon finding himself in the deep woods, once again hunting for the 24-year-old. Agents tell News 2 a Cheatham County deputy will arrest Marquez Cortez hours later. The suspect is reportedly found walking down the interstate towards Nashville. Drug agents tell me that both suspects have addresses in Nashville, but based on the evidence found in the vehicle, they believe there is also a strong connection to drug cartels in Mexico. In Williamson County, Andy Cordan, News 2.